BoxingVoice.com here with the uh, Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen. Peter, how you feeling, man? You are actually coming back. You're going to be fighting Andy Lee on April 11th for the WBO middleweight title, and you're actually going to be fighting on primetime network television. Talk to us about that. Well, let's just say first and foremost, I feel really, really good. Let me show you why. Hey, come here. Having a guy like him around me motivates me. So I feel very, very good. I'm, I'm around people that I love, and I'm able to show love. Most importantly, I'm just getting to the mind state that I'm, I'm just going to be relentless and unstoppable. And, you know, it's history being made, and my legacy is important to me. Which family member is this one? This is my, my dad. Oh, is that so your dad? this is my dad. This is, then you know what? This is my dad. My dad name is, what's your name? Pedro. What's my name? Pedro, too. So he named me Peter. And I said, why you didn't name me Pedro? And it's actually because I'm named after my father. I'm my father's junior in this country. But he has another junior in Cuba. So I'm named after my brother. I'm named for my dad to my little, uh, my older brother and then me with the same name. And his son actually named is Pedro. And my dad said, why you didn't name your son Pedro? I said, it's too many Pedros. All right, like we said, we're fighting on network television. You know, the biggest thing that happened last year, of course, was you vacating your WBO title, and you were announcing that a lot of big news was coming up, and that's the reason why you did it. We obviously see what the big news was. It was network television. It was, no matter what, a fight for the WBO title. You're fighting a bigger name because you were supposed to fight Korobov, but you're now fighting Andy Lee, who is actually a bigger name than Korobov. And what everybody's saying is you're getting more money. Talk to us about back then when you vacated the title and what was actually told to you and why you actually came to that decision to vacate i vacated it number one you know i had a new baby at that time which was very important i was advised that the time that i would lose with my kid i would never get that time back so if anybody want to say anything about what my advisors say to me it's not about just fighting it's about my well-being as a human being and being a father so having the time with my kid was important to me and now i learned what important important thing that was for me to have that you know what I mean because that time you never get back my uncle was struggling with cancer and wasn't something I was openly speaking about because it was so emotional for me that um he just passed like uh three weeks ago he just got buried and um it was the one of the hardest things I ever had to fight through and learn to deal with you know what I'm saying seeing somebody fight so hard for their life and you know what I'm saying it was it was a hard thing for me and I I, I just recently just became Super motivated. I'm dedicating my next fight to him because he's like one of the most important people in my life. You know, and yeah, you see my kid, my dad had it in his wallet. But you know, my my uncle has man has just been so such an inspiration to me. So you know, people can say what they want to say. You know, what I mean, you can't get family back. You can lose money all the time, but losing family, you don't get that back. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm glad to be able to spend time with my uncle and get time with my family and just making things that's important that you can't buy with money like family, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just thankful I just made the decision to do the right thing for my family. And then according to what it said about, you know, all the big news that, you know, it was bigger things to look forward to. So it was it was all about the timing right there. It wasn't the time to fight then, but it is the time to fight now. Well, first off, congratulations on the kid, on the child, your firstborn and everything. Talk to us about the motivation of actually now being a father and fighting for the first time since being a father. Well, you know, you always start, like, you know, being a boxer, you know, a lot of people will come off like cocky. Like, boxers are cocky. They think about themselves. And, and to a certain extent, you have to think like that because when you get in that ring, it's just you by yourself. So you got to learn how to deal with you. And I've been through a lot of moments where, I, where I've been with myself and I had to learn to do with that. But, you know, now having a kid, I learned, to, I learned a valuable lesson. It ain't just about me now. And if it can go away in one second where you can just, like, figure that it's not about you anymore. And that, that happened in one second once I seen my son born. I was like, it ain't, it ain't never been about me. So it's just like, you know, you can fight hard, you can fight hard for yourself, but it's even, it's, even, it's even better where you can fight for something else that you love and you can actually fight harder. Now talk to us.